Thank you for filling out the bounds of tonight's show. It's not permitted. You can take all the still photography you like from your seats. And for Halloween 1975, your six closest relatives, the mothers.
happy Halloween. Welcome to show number two, Mothers of Invention, Halloween Extravaganza of New York City, 1975. Before we, realize a bit, before we go on, I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, what's happened in the show so far. You know the little ballet with the mop and the bucket and so forth? That was our road crew. And their professional name, now that they decided to become ballet dancers, they're known as the Ground Loop Dance Troupe. And they were dancing to a piece of music that will probably be released uh, in the springtime called Pedro's Dowry. And I, I was watching their ballet from the side. I don't know whether you liked it. I enjoyed the shit out of it myself. Because it had, it had that sort of rustic appeal that is so lacking in today's entertainment. Anyway, I'd like to introduce the members of our rocking teenage combo to you right now. Napoleon Murphy Brown on tenor sax. And we go From the world of soul, ladies and gentlemen, the dynamic Andre Lewis on keyboards and things that he blows later on in the show. From the world of jazz, ladies and gentlemen, little skinny Terry Ted Bowtie Bozio on drums. Recently turning down a lifetime contract with the Mahavishnu Orchestra in order to come on stage and play rock and roll with us, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, we got and now, last but not least, Roy Ralph Molman Guacamole, Banana Republic, Managua Estrada on bass. And yours truly, Cher Allman on guitar. in the bar. Oh, yeah. 
deals with this dog, about like this special dog, this very cute dog, with a certain kind of special hair around its neck and on the end of its tail. A poodle, as you might have guessed. A poodle and Frenchie, the relationship between Franny and Frenchie tonight. Now, Franny is a very good friend of mine. We met during the last show, during a presentation. And I'm pleased and delighted to see that she's still in the front row in a place where we can get to her anytime if we need her. As a matter of fact, we may need her in a little while. So don't, don't move a pound, Franny. We know where you are. You are in trouble. Now this song, you see that? It's all your fault. This song deals with what happens when Franny gets together, really gets it together with the poodle. Fran, Franny, 
all my life. She is the imported director of Detroit, formerly with the Maha Vishnu Orchestra itself. Before that was Stevie Wonder, and she's come down here just for Halloween purposes to see what would happen if she played the alto saxophone while we cleaned up.
best wishes for the many years that I've had to deal with them in this great land of ours and abroad. And it goes like this. Well, well maybe you thought I was the Packer Goose. Well, the Ronald McDonald 
of the nouveau abstruse. Well, fuck all you people. I ain't got no, I don't need no, I ain't even got no, I don't need no excuse for being who and what I am. You know, these suckers go to a party just to chew on the cheese. And they write like they all had some English disease. And then they tell you rock and roll is dead. Ah, spare me please. Those people are so full of shit I can't even believe it. You know, they say there ain't nothing happening. They're like a turd on a cocktail, napkin in. About as full as, they're about as full as doo-doo as they can be. Please, please, Lord, keep those motherfuckers away from me. I don't want to get specific, but this is, I'll bring it down a little bit closer to the point. Not that it makes any difference. However, you know those chumps that write for cream? Well, they should go over and suck on Todd Rundgren's laser beam. And the rest of those, and the rest of that scum at Rolling Stone, here's to them. Hey, boy. I know it's tough, everybody's got to earn a living, but some people ought to be licensed to operate a typewriter. That's why Franny became a radiologist.
Dean from Commercial had the unmitigated audacity to attend this concert on Halloween, and let me tell you, he's in for trouble tonight. Tonight is the night that we finally get revenge on the fur trapper. Whoever, however, he, she, or it might be. And I'd like to invite each and every one of you to fantasize along with me this evening that in some small way, that the process of performing this show will rid you of your own personal demon, whatever it is that's just bothering the shit out of you this year. Just, just, you know what I mean? Because you guys in New York should know more than anybody else in the world that the only way that you're ever going to make it through life without going completely crazy is by finding someone or something to say fuck you to. See? Now in the past, in the past, many governments and religious leaders have paraphrased that expression in such a way as to make a certain religious or political or ethnic minority the victim of their cruel disregard. But today, it's time for the people who have been the victims of that cruel disregard to turn around and disregard something else. So, have a good time tonight. Who delivered their dinner? 
He tried to ignore it, but it made him angry. He called her a slut, the pig in a whore, a bitch in a cunt, and she slammed the door in a petulant frenzy. She gives him some help. This is the story of, um, Franny already knows the story too well. This is the story of the Illinois Enema Bandit. Um, has anybody here ever heard? All right. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot. Wait a minute, let me take my guitar off so I can really work with it. Friends, it goes this way. Friends, this is the sad but true story of a young man who was recently arrested in Bloomington, Illinois. His name is Michael Kenyon. And he was arrested for the presumptuous crime of breaking into the homes of college-educated women, wearing a ski mask, carrying a briefcase, and in the briefcase was one of these, a little revolver, a thermometer, some rope, and some... I think he had some newspaper in there so they keep it neat. And we break into the homes of these poor, unsuspecting, marginally intelligent young ladies of the Midwestern area. We'd go in there and would say, don't make a sound. And then he would tie them up, make them lay down. And then he would get out the thermometer and take their temperature because he wanted to be really scientific about it. And then he would run into the other room and fill something like this up with tepid water and dash back in and go, oh, here, I'll give it to you, you stick it up your ass. No, we have plenty more up here, you can use that one. So anyway, it would, you know, spread them, boop, going in, hold the bag, water goes down, watches his watch, jacks off a little bit, pulls it out, lets it go into the toilet, and put it out. Well, they caught him, he's going to stand trial, I think the charge is rape with a foreign object. And we hope he does well in his crusade to straighten out the Midwest. Now this is the song. <laughs> Wait a minute, he's getting ready right now. He's trying to get his equipment together. Napoleon Murphy Brock will portray the lead role, the leading role in the ballad of the Illinois Animal Bandit until it's Roy's turn. Roy gets to be the bandit in the second half of the song. No, he does mean business. During the last show, ladies and gentlemen, Franny, we'd like to thank Franny so much. She submitted to uh, the uh, cruel procedure of demonstrating the, uh, the bandit's technique. So, come on, Franny, let's do it again.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Franny. Franny. Franny is a radiologist. Would you tell... Would you tell these people in this show what, what you do for a living? I'm an x-ray technician. What do you do while you're an x-ray technician? Give people very minimum. Can you hear this? Can you hear this? Very minimus. Just, just to stand there looking like that saying, very minimus, everybody. I think it's good. I think somebody should do it. You know, you've got to be able to take the pictures. So anyway, during the last show, Franny, we made her very comfortable here on the, this little bed of newspapers and tied her up. If you just step right over to my office. Just lie down, make something. This never happens to Tom Jones's microphone. Well, anyway, get up. Just to make sure you all understand what's going on here, this is all make believe. She's not really going to get it in the butt, I don't think. Well, you know, Halloween and everything. Yeah. I sure do. Yeah, I do like that. Well, anyway, here we have. Now, this this is not exactly a college-educated woman because she's she hasn't gone yet. She is going to go to college, and we just wanted to let her know what she's in for. Now, the bandit, as portrayed by Napoleon Murphy Brock, is mixing up the special solution to her problems. Just, just calm down there. Okay. Is she okay? Uh, that's what I thought. Okay. He is going to mix up a special preparation that contains all the ingredients that are important for people who live in this country. Fanta Orange, Coca-Cola, and Brioski is the special product. Now this, <laughs> this, <laughs> uh, Cracker Jack too, put some of those in there. Put the prize in. to drink all of it. Oh, that, in the can? No, no, you have to have what's in there. It's Coca-Cola, orange juice, and Brioski. He'll take it. Daddy's gonna hit you. No, he'll, he'll administer it to you. There it is. Open your mouth. Tie him up. You put the mask on. What? Okay. Let's 
and pull in, and pull in. Yeah, back up. This is getting interesting. Now, now, Franny is trained for this. Okay. Give, Napoleon, give her the mask. Wait, you gotta put the mask on so that nobody recognizes you. Okay, John, relax. Okay, now watch out, watch out for John now because this could get very interesting. Get back. How you feeling, John? Perfect. John says he's feeling perfect. Fucking perfect. All right. Okay. Now, uh, Franny, I'll tell you what, you have, just give her all the equipment and we'll sing. And you already know the song, you can act it out. What an asshole. You gonna help her find the hole in the pony? Come on, Franny, get down with it.
graceful saying, Saka was under arrest. And the judge will have him for a special guest. The DA will order a secret test. Stuff his pudgy little thumbs in the side of his vest. But pull out a call, you for the jury folk. And the judge will say, No boo boo jokes. Dragging the bandit for all the same. Saying, Don't nobody hate you. I heard it happen. Saying, Hot soapy water in the first degree. And the bandit might say, Why is everybody always thinking of me? Well, did you come? Yeah. 
your nose. Some say you're toes, but I think it's your mind. Give me some drums and I'll children are poor unfortunate victims of systems beyond their control a plague upon your ignorance and the great despair of your ugly life where did Annie go when she went to town who are all those geeks that she brings around all your children are poor unfortunate victims of lies you believe a plague upon your ignorance that keeps the young from the truth they deserve
sensitive song. This song deals with America's favorite pastime. We have to make a few little preparations here. Now just, just relax and sort of put yourself into a trance.
I like to, hey brothers and sisters, let's get it together, brothers and sisters, because you know what I mean. Now listen, I'm going to sing you this song. It's a very bring the band on down behind my voice. This is I'm going to sing this uh, really sensitive song because right here, you know, in my heart, deep in my heart, I'm so lonely because you know when you're. Well, you know, I'm lonely. And so I, I sat in my lonely rock and roll musician's room one day, you know, and I put my wig on and my glasses just to practice. And I said, uh, I have to tell the world how lonely I am and how hurting to my heart, deep inner hurt and everything, and, and reveal a little bit of myself to the people of New York. And so what I was going to do was I was going to sing this sort of a song. Maybe this same tragic song is, maybe the words will apply to some of you out there. It goes like this. I'm just 14 years old. I'm sickly and thin. Been trying all my life. Just to grow me a chin. Well, it popped out once, but my dad pushed it in.
made it real. She ruled the toads of these short forests, and every newt in Idaho, and every cricket who had chorus by the bush and buffalo. She said she was a magic mama, and she could throw a bee tarot and carried on without a comma that she was someone I should know she had a snake on her head and an ambulance and she was breathing a blur but she wasn't the man she had gray green skin well I know with the pen I told her she was alright but I couldn't call me so she wandered through the doorway just like a shadow from the tomb the stereo was four way and I just love it in a room well I was born to have adventure you see so I just followed up the steps right past the fuming incense danger to where she hung her cast in it she stripped away her rancid poncho and laid out naked by the door we didn't tell me where I'd gone to and it was useless anymore. She had a snake on her head and an ambulance, and she was breathing a war. But she wasn't done yet. She had gray green skin. Well, the dog was a bit. I told her she was all right, but I couldn't come in. And so she wandered through the dark.
Tanner Sachs and Lee Bubbles, Andre Lewis on keyboards, and think that he blows in the middle of the show. Little Skinny, Terry Ted, Jazz Bowl, Bozio on drums. Roy, Ralph, Bowman, Guacamole, Banana Republic, Managua, Estrada on bass, direct from the Aztec Empire. And Norma Bell, alto saxophone, and etc. Thank you very much for coming to the concert tonight.
way that they can feel Out on the highway, rolling the wheel He says, she's a real Check up my head Just go home and enjoy yourself as a potato. Ah. Ah.